Uh, my name is Miranda Costin, and I live here in Baltimore in Woodbury. Um, I testified this summer with my six-year-old son, Tal, and we were talking about together how dissatisfied we were with the plan Governor Hogan put into place to limit smog-forming pollution from Maryland's coal-burning power plants. In this summer's testimony, I talked about how difficult it was to explain to my six-year-old that sometimes the air in our city is not safe to breathe, and I focused on how inconvenient it was to cancel play dates, plans to go swimming, and change commuting plans when they involved being outside on days where it was a code orange or code red day because the air would just be unsafe for the kids to breathe. Um, I'm here again this morning because the air quality problem in Baltimore is more than just an inconvenience. It is a true health risk. I'm here because I'm worried. I'm worried about my own two kids but I'm also worried about all the children who live in the city and who do not have a voice in what goes into the air they breathe. I'm here for the children who have to miss school because they can't breathe due to complications associated with asthma that is aggravated by the poor air quality in the city. According to the Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, Baltimore City children under 18 years of age have an asthma rate more than twice that of the national average. That's 20% here in Baltimore versus 9.4% nationally. And there's a direct link to that terribly high asthma rate here in Baltimore and the fact that we also have some of the worst air quality in the country. Baltimore's pediatric asthma hospitalization rate is the highest in Maryland and one of the highest in the nation. I am here today because Governor Hogan made a promise that he would institute a plan to clean up dirty coal plants that was as strong or stronger than the plan he eliminated when he came into office. However, the plan that Hogan's administration has proposed is actually 21 to 35% more polluting than the plan that was already in place. With this new plan, coal plants in this region will continue emitting levels of pollution that are unsafe, making it harder for the children of Baltimore to breathe. As citizens, we can control many aspects of our lives, but we are completely beholden to the government and to its regulatory bodies when it comes to air quality. As an individual, I can do nothing to make Baltimore's air quality cleaner, which is why I'm here today. Governor Hogan, I am asking you to please keep your promise to solve Maryland's smog pollution problem and to install modern pollution controls on all coal plants. Thank you very much.